Greetings! I am Herbert Erbaderb, and today, instead of my usual modelling video, we're at the 44th Brisbane Model Train Show, which took place, surprisingly enough, in Brisbane, on the 30th of April and the 1st of May 2022. I'm not going to waffle too much, so let's get right to the trains. Something I like about these shows is that there's always a really good variety of trains and model railway setups, like this one called 1920s, set after World War I, and featuring surplus war locomotives doing some shunting. At the other end of the spectrum, we have layouts that really aren't much more than track on a board with some buildings, which is equally valid and still a lot of fun. There really are a million ways you can enjoy this hobby. Of course, Thomas the Tank Engine and Thomas related stuff is quite popular in a variety of scales. We'll be seeing Thomas and his friends quite a bit today. Here's a great example of why N-Scale is awesome. Triple-headed steam trains that don't take up the entire length of your house. With a convincingly long train. How cool is that? It's pretty cool, Herbert! Yeah, I know, that was kind of a rhetorical question. Something that kind of tickles me is seeing not only models representing different parts of the world running together, in this case Australian and US diesels, but also seeing those diesels running alongside steam, like this monster. I'm sure that kind of thing annoys some, but who cares, it's fun. I know I've shown this layout in previous Model Railway exhibition videos. Most of the layouts here are return visitors. It kind of happens when it's the same town. 
Anyway, I really like this one, because there's so much going on and they've got a list of things for you to try and find. I think that's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this little mining scene. I know in previous videos I've said what a good idea I think these little modules are, and I have been thinking of building some of these for myself. I've recently been bitten pretty hard by the model railway bug, and this show certainly has not helped with that at all. I'm still at the umming and ahhing phase, but the ability to make various different scenes is certainly appealing, but then so is having one bigger consistent scene. Ah, uh, the many, many choices and options. Anyway, I'm starting to waffle. Here's a really interesting idea, and I'm not sure that I've seen this one before. It's a set of individual boxes with their own scenes in them, as you can see. Very cool.
Here's another one with a lot of stuff going on. I think the use of lights on this one is really cool. There does seem to be more than the usual amount of emergencies happening in this town, but the flashing lights are fun. I really like this one. It's called Urungan Pier. Not totally sure I'm saying that right. I understand this pier to be scratch built, and I think it looks amazing. Here's another interesting concept, a series of tiny little modules depicting scenes from all around the world. It would certainly make for an interesting view for the passengers of that commuter train. And of course the very real and not at all fictitious location of Sodor is included here somewhere between France and Argentina. Unfortunately, I didn't realise just how bright the lights were here, but I really like this depiction of Walloon, which is set from the 60s to the 80s. I'm pretty sure Walloon doesn't really look all that different these days. There are fewer tracks and things look a bit more modern, but I'm pretty sure that the church and house on the right side are still there, and I don't think the station buildings have been replaced either. Very nice.
Of course, it wouldn't be a model railway show if there wasn't a Lego railway. As a kid, I really, really wanted Lego trains to build something like this. Obviously, I never got that because Lego is very expensive. Anyway, I think that's about it. I might have missed one or two of the railways in this video because sometimes when I press record, it stubbornly refuses to comply. Still, I really enjoyed everything I saw, and like I said, this has really only made that model railway bug I caught much, much worse. So I guess expect to see more model train stuff in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you're in Brisbane next year at the end of April, I would definitely recommend a visit to the Brisbane Model Train Show. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. And if you've not already done so, why not subscribe here on YouTube for the low, low price of zero dollars? Or if you've got the means, and you want to help a Herbert Erpaderp do Herbert Erpaderp things, and see my videos a bit early, consider becoming a patron. You can find links to Patreon and all of my other things like Discord and social media in the description below. And as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have an amazing day, and thanks for watching. Farewell.